what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Maria also known as Bellows of Vlog and here on my channel I share all things fashion beauty lifestyle travel and occasionally I share tips and tricks for aspiring and current content creators I also share vlogs sharing my life as a full-time creator entrepreneur so if you're interested in any of those please be sure you stay a while be sure you give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and be sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a brand new video. If you have not watched my last video where I shared how I make money as a micro influencer, I highly suggest you go back and watch that video first. I will leave a link to it here so you can go watch it. And this video is just going to be a continuation of that video. And that video, I shared that one of the ways that I make money as a micro influencer is by working with brands. So when brands are not reaching out to me, I'm reaching out to them. And a lot of you guys were wondering how do you find brand contacts to pitch them so in this video i'm going to share with you exactly my strategy for finding brand contact in order to pitch them all right so before you get to finding the brand contact and pitching them there's just some prerequisites that i feel like you need to have checked off before you move to that step and the first one is to create a list of all of the brands that you would like to work with so i created an excel spreadsheet and i have them in different categories so basically different pages in that spreadsheet are based on the categories of my brand i consider myself a lifestyle influencer but under that lifestyle umbrella there are multiple Multiple categories that I cover so I cover travel I cover beauty you know occasionally skincare and things like that I cover fashion and overall lifestyle whether that's food or things that I'm interested in whether that's wine alcohol and things like that so I have different pages in that spreadsheet based on that category and um, I list brands that I would like to work with based on that category it's basically creating a contact book for yourself but that gives you kind of like a place to start a direction so before you go searching for a contact you kind of already know like what you're searching for what brands you're searching for and things like that so I highly suggest creating a list whether that's on paper on a spreadsheet I highly suggest um, creating a list of the brands that you would like to work with I will add a link to my spreadsheet template in the description box if you're interested in accessing that my second prerequisite is to make sure that you're already creating similar content so in my last video I give you guys an example of how I was able to um, get more brand partnership with alcohol companies just by creating content using wine and things like that um, so I started creating the content because I wanted to work with alcohol companies I started creating content with cars because I wanted to work with car companies because when I go to pitch a brand I want to show them that I am capable of creating the type of work that I'm telling them that I want to create for them so it's very important that you're already creating content that you want to create for the brand that you want to work with it doesn't have to be the exact same product but something similar for example if um, a body wash company is a company you want to work with like maybe you know creating like similar beauty content you know something in that similar format it doesn't have to be you know promoting the brand exactly Exactly, but something similar so that you have proof um, so that you can add those to your um, your media kit in order to show the brand that I'm capable of performing the work that I'm asking you um, to give me a chance to do for you um, the final prerequisite I would recommend it kind of correlates with the second one and that is to organically start talking about that brand or a similar product in your content so um, I gave an example of how I started working with Premier Protein I did a campaign with them I want to say last month or the month before that um, and part of that was because um, I was already using the products so I was talking about it on my stories just organically you know talking about you know how I'm starting to try out different protein shakes da 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 and I seem to like this one da 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 so I was able to grab screenshots from DMs I was having with people that were interested in trying that product um, so I can share with the brand when I go and pitch them that gives you more leverage you know if you're already talking about it your audience is already interested in it in the product 
or you know the brand it's leveraged to show the brand that they are going to get their return on investment so i highly suggest you know making sure that you have those three prerequisites down packed before you move to the step of looking for brand contract and moving to the step of actually pitching brands so just to go over what those three prerequisites are creating a list of all the brands that you would like to work with making sure you're creating similar content um, to what you want to do for those brands and also make sure you're organically speaking about those product or brand um, in your content you know prior to approaching the brand all right, so you have all your prerequisites down packed, checked off. It's time to look for those brand contacts. I have five different ways of finding brand contacts, and I'm going to give it to you guys in the same order that I would take when it's time for me to look for a brand contact. The very first one is through LinkedIn, but not LinkedIn alone. So my first process is to go on Google, Okay, I'm gonna start with an example. All right, so today we're gonna be using Tula as our example company. So my very first step would be to go on Google and search Tula Influencer Management. And I will put LinkedIn after the word management because I only want LinkedIn profiles to populate in my Google search. So the first name that comes up, I will go through their LinkedIn profile. Sometimes I rather do, I prefer to do this on a private browser just because I don't want people to know that I'm snooping on them low key, especially if I'm not going to reach out to them via LinkedIn. Um, if I am, then that's fine. But sometimes I'll do this on a private browser. Um, so I'll go through their profile on LinkedIn. I'll look at their job description to make sure, okay, this person handles the influencer side um, in the marketing team for this company. Um, I kind of, you know, skim through their description and everything and make sure they're still with the company. Even though some people don't update their um, LinkedIn as often, I like to always make sure that their current role in that position is present um, so that I'm not left with like the wrong contact or something like that. So, you know, I skim through their description, make sure, you know, there's something in their role that says that they work with that company or that they work with influencers or they work in the marketing department. There's something correlates to, you know, me getting to the right person. Um, so some companies might not have someone specifically for influencer management. They might have someone for social media or someone in marketing. Like all I want is someone in marketing, someone in social media, whatever, like the closest person I can get to the person that manage influencers is the goal. So that's my step one. But really all I need is their first and last name because then I'm going to go to Hunter.io. So Hunter.io is kind of like an AI system that tracks how companies um, populate their employees' emails and uses a person's first and last name to give you a possible email for them. So um, I'll go to hunter.io. Um, in order to search someone's email, you need to create a login. It's free. You have a certain amount of searches you can do in a month with a free account, but it's free. You create an account, yada, yada. You get in there, you type in the company's name first, and then you put the person's first and last name, and it will populate um, the email that you need for that person. Sometimes, that email might be wrong, it might bounce back. You might use that email and you find a bounce back. I would just go to the next person. There's a possibility there might be two people in that company with the same name, so therefore they have to use like a middle initial in the middle or something. And Hunter is not smart enough to know that there's two people in the company, you know, uh, with that same name. So the email might be wrong, but there is a high chance of that email being correct. That is usually the first step I take. Like I said, I'm gonna, Go over it one more time for you guys. I go on Google, type in the brand name, um, influencer management, LinkedIn, search for someone in that company that handles influencer management, look up their name, go to Hunter, search their name, and see what email Hunter populates for me. All right, so the second way is through the company's website. So a lot of companies might not have their uh, marketing department email. You know, most companies usually have just like their customer service because they're not expecting um, people that want to work with them to go through their company site. Usually their company sites are tailored for consumers. It's rare that you will find a company with their 
their like influencer or marketing contact but some do so it's worth a try to go in their about page you know the little um, pages all the way at the bottom that no one ever checks out you know the information uh, pages at the bottom it's worth a try to try that or even go into their career pages and trying that like just like go through all the pages on a company's website to see if you can find anything that leads to um, like a marketing email or someone in the company that you can talk to not customer service or you know something like that but anything related to press or marketing or um, um, what they call them PR things like that um, so it's worth a try to go through a company's website. I know like some companies like Shein or I think Boohoo, um, they do have like the marketing or PR person's email on their site. Um, smaller boutiques will, but there's some bigger companies that sometimes don't. So, but it's always worth a try to like look through a company's website and see if you can find an email. So the third way that I look for brand contacts is through press releases. So whenever a company is making a major change, um, especially if they are a public traded company, they will put out press releases and usually they use sites like Newswire, which is a press release distribution site. Nine times out of 10 and those press releases will be a contact to their press, marketing, something. There'll be a contact information on that press release. So that's a way to um, also find a brand contact. It might not be directly to someone specific, but it could be to a department that can help get you to someone specific. So you can search, you know, Tula press release. NARS press release something like that on Google and it will auto populate all of their latest press releases and you can go through that press release and look for um, a contact information on there so that's one way you can go about finding a brand contact of course like I said before that contact might not you know be the direct person you need to talk to but it might be a way to get you in the door to someone who can lead you to the right person so that's another way you can look for brand contacts. And the fourth way is to ask your peers if there is anyone in this industry um, that you're friends with, that you connect with online, you know, like fellow influencers, fellow creators that have worked with someone um, that you would like to work with. Um, it might be worth a try to slide in their DMs and say, hey, like, would you like to trade a contact? Like if you have a contact that, um, you know, that would be beneficial to that person you know that's something you can say you know like, hey i have a contact for this person would you mind giving me the contact for that person but make sure you're polite about it and also keep in mind that people are not entitled to giving you contact so you might ask someone for a brand contact and they can't share with you they don't feel comfortable sharing it with you and that's okay like don't you know take everything personal i think you know taking this step um it's you have to be very careful um because some people are not okay with just passing out brand contacts because god forbid you give somebody a brand contact and they go to that brand and mention your name and you know they didn't deliver on something now your image looks bad and things like that it's kind of like referring someone to a job in a sense so some people are very you know protective of their name of their image so they're very protective of you know what information they share with others so keep that in mind but that is a major way that you can you know get some brand contacts and also i know for me a lot of brands that I work with, I don't work with them directly. I might work with them through like a influencer platform, which is something that I mentioned in my last video. Um, so I might not have, you might ask me for a certain brand contact and I may not have it. And that's because I work with them through an agency. There's no way to get the actual brand contact. So also keep that in mind as well. But you know, it's always worth a try to, you know, reach out to your peers and see if you guys can trade or, you know, share information regarding brand contacts and things like that. So that is another way you can look for brand contacts. The very last way I will look for brand contacts is by sliding in into their DMs. This is usually my last resort because it's not professional, um, but usually if I have lost all hope, there's no other ways to look for them, I'll slide into their DMs and be like, hey, um, I would love 
to um, send a pitch to your company I would love to work with your company is there someone um, I can reach out to do you have an email I can reach out to never ever ever send a whole pitch via DM most people are not gonna read it it's unprofessional no the only thing you need is an email so that you can send your pitch so when you are DMing a company make sure that you're not pitching them make sure you're just asking for the person information that you can reach out to in order to send a pitch another thing to keep in mind for DMing brands is a lot of brands outsource um, social media managers so the person might not know who's the right person you can reach out to because that might be you know a third party company that that brand um, outsources for you know specifically running their social media so they might not have the right contact to who to reach out to but it's also worth a try so yeah basically those are the five ways different ways that i go about finding brand contacts i'll repeat them for you the first way is to go through linkedin hunter.io um, and searching the person's name and having hunter automate their email for you um, the second way is through the company's website third way is through a press release Fourth way is to asking your peers and the final way is to sliding into their DMs. If you enjoyed this video, if you found this video informative, please let me know in the comments. Give this video a like, um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, but that's it. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the information that I shared with you guys in this video and that's it for me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.